So far, we've taken a look at the pen tool in a couple of scenarios, but we haven't looked at how we add curvature with the pen tool as we draw. So I'm going to start off with one of the leaves here. Of course, we only need to create one of the leaves and then we can duplicate it to achieve the rest. So I'm going to pick up my zoom tool first of all, and then just zoom into a region where I have one of these leaves. I can see it nice and clearly on screen. And then I will switch back to my pen tool, which at the moment is hidden because in the previous video, we took a look at the anchor point tool and then I'll have to click on pen tool. Again, just making sure in the properties panel, we have no fill color, a black stroke, and it's one point in weight. And then really looking at the pencil sketch here of the leaf, it is kind of characterized in, in two different ways. We have um, what I'd call two pointy ends over at left hand side on the right hand side, and which is joined by two curves at the top and the bottom. So to start off with, I'm going to hover my cursor over the pointy end. That needs to be a corner point. So I'll left click and let go of the mouse, not holding anything down. And this time I'm going to hover across to where the middle of the curve is in the upper section of that leaf. Trying to remember that from, from in most situations, each curve will need one anchor point and placing your anchor point in the middle of where that curve is will give you the most control over how it appears. So from here, this time the mouse gesture is different. You're going to click and hold down the left mouse button, keep it held down and then drag in the direction that you are roughly going around this path. I'm going clockwise. So I'm going to drag the handles out towards the right hand side. It's where my cursor is heading and it adds handles. And then the more I drag, the longer the handles are and the more extreme the curvature is. And then notice that if I'd have dragged to the left hand side, we get this appearance. That's why I suggest that you click and drag in the direction that you're going around the path. And generally that will give you the kind of curve that you're looking for. So with my handle here positioned just like so, notice that also the anchor point handles, they are roughly pointing the same direction as where each of the pointy ends of this leaf is. They're not perfectly straight like this. They are slightly twisted around because that's the slight off angle of this leaf pencil sketch. When I feel like I've got that first half of the curve accurately placed, I'll let go of the mouse. And at that point, you completely ignore the anchor point and the handles. Do not interact with them. You should then hover over the next place where you need an anchor point. And again, this one is going to be a corner point that requires a left click and let go of the mouse like so. And that forms the other half of the arc of the curve. Again, it's the same technique on the lower side. Hover your cursor over the middle of where you believe that pencil sketch is. Click and hold the left mouse button down. Keep it held down and pull away from there to add the handle. And then just get that in the place where I need it. Let go of the mouse now. Ignore the anchor point and the handles and head straight to the next place. Hover my cursor over there. And in this case, it's just another left click and let go of the mouse. And that creates the leaf. So if you wish to, at this point, you can, of course, switch to the direct selection tool. And if you wish to, you can left click and then you can alter the handles. You can spin them around, you can lengthen them and you can shorten them. That's the point where I would suggest you make those fine tuned edits. Don't try and tackle this as you make the uh, path itself with the pen tool. That's quite tricky. So from there, you could duplicate them or you may wish to just practice. So the choice is absolutely yours. If you want to follow that same technique, then you can do. And I will show you that in the next video.